Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me through my off one of my videos had about negative space on just one letter. And I was totally confused what he was talking about. So he sent me this picture on Pinterest. And this is very easily done, and there's probably a couple ways to do it. But just take your text, get your shape tool, take that kerning, and just move them a little closer together. Kind of squeeze the text. Now we want to go up to range and break artistic text apart. I've got my nudge factor. I'm going to set my nudge factor on six inches. And I'm going to take that P and I'm going to move it out of the way. I'm going to left click the mouse, right click the mouse. Then I'm going to take my C, do the same exact thing, left click, right click. And now let's move it. Well, we need to, we need to fill them in. So let's take your smart fill tool, fill these in. Let's take our other letters and click no fill. But let's do an outline so we can see them. Now take your P, put it back, and you'll see it's leaving the outline. So we don't need them anymore, just delete them. And there's, like I said, there's probably a couple of ways to do this. Take your rectangle tool and make a, a box around it. Go in and fill in this void space right there. And then fill in your outside. Probably filling in that. And then take your lasso, all your letters, your text, and put no fill or no outline. Left click your mouse. And there you have it. You could probably play around with it a little bit more. And, and put this S in front of the P. And, but everything else looks pretty good. So I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.